Hi, and welcome to the Roland Studio. I wanted to uh, change the pace just a little bit. I've been working on my Dollar Tree glass gems, and I'm not done with those, but I'm taking a break from it, and I've got a couple of things going on in my head that just have to come out. And the first thing that I'm going to talk about is um, practicing my, my drawing. I'm drawing flowers. Um, I will show you some of the other flowers that I've drawn but uh, at the end of this video. But for now, I've been working on this particular rose and I'm inspired. I've been inspired by an old um, early American, early English, and even uh, an old uh, Chinese uh, decor. And that would be the willow plate. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen the willow plate before. I will try to uh, find a picture and put it in here somewhere. Uh, there it is. Uh, this is a willow plate and there's a little little Chinese story that goes behind the willow plate uh, I will try to be brief uh, but I've been kind of doing a little researching and whatnot and the short version is that there was um, an emperor who had a daughter and he had a servant and the servant would serve his master and his daughter and every evening the daughter would enjoy the garden grounds and therefore over time uh, the servant and the daughter I guess had moments of conversation together and they fell in love and she knew that her father would never let her marry a commoner, especially a servant. Therefore, she and her new love decided they were going to run away together and hide from the emperor so that they could be together. Because back then they had arranged marriages and they didn't want to be privy to that. So when the emperor overheard them speaking that they were going to run away together he immediately um, called for you know I believe his name was Chain uh, to be removed from the castle and you know told to never come back and his daughter Li Chi if I'm not mistaken was the folklore name uh, was bound to be married by someone else so in the middle of the night, Chang came to escort Li Chi by secret, and they ran away together to a secret garden across the bridge and into a, another older place where she knew her father would never look because it would be unbeknownst to her, him to have his daughter in such a creepy place. I guess this place wasn't you know, quite the gardens that they were used to and never thought that his daughter would be, you know, would enter into the older gardens or across the lake, into the woods, let's just say. <laughs> Not to put a, too fine a point on it. So when the emperor went looking for his daughter and found that she was nowhere to be found, he sent the soldiers across the bridge and went looking for his daughter, Lychee, and knew that Chang had come to get her. So across the bridge they went and into the lake and to this little island and the father, the emperor, was uh, destined to go and put Chang to death and supposedly the, the Chinese gods did not want them to perish, therefore they decided they were going to jump off, the, you know, jump into the water and drown themselves so that they could be together in the next life. But 
as it stands the gods didn't want them to do that therefore they turned them into two turtle doves and away they flew which represents the two birds on the plate to my understanding now fast forwarding a little bit there was an Englishman and I will have to get back to you on the name because I don't remember <laughs> but you can look it up yourself so there was an Englishman that was inspired by this story and the decor of the plates because they turned the story into you know their decor on their plates and the Englishman did his own version of it and over time there were four to five hundred manufacturers in England that took on their own twist and put an English twist to it by putting cottages and different uh, pictures of their own uh, folklore, I suppose, on their ceramics. And then the Americans also took part in this and another three to four hundred to five hundred manufacturers did their version of the willow plate oh and i forgot the main part of the story with the willow where the name willow came from was when the emperor saw that his daughter and chang turned into doves and flew away and knew that he'd lost her forever he then turned into a sad willow tree so let me just finish that up <laughs> forgot that part of the story see i'm tired and it's at the end of the night and I just wanted to start practicing uh, doing a willow plate inspired drawing. So I'm working for the first time in monochromatic, which I've never done before. So bear with me, this may not be the best or uh, I'm, I, heck, I'm still not the best at drawing. I'm still you know, tweaking my drawing, but I'm enjoying it. And that's what it's all about is enjoying your art and the process and and the inspiration and I have been inspired by the willow plate so um I hope that you're inspired as well and I hope that you like this drawing and I will let you guys listen to some music for a little while and I will come back if I find the need to talk about anything that I'm doing all right, see you in a bit. I do want to apologize though for the cloudiness of the film. I didn't know that my phone had switched modes uh, from no effects to some other kinds of effects. So it will clear up later in this video. But I wanted to go ahead and point out that I did start out with Dr. P.H. Martin uh, India Inks and uh, I moved on from that to some polychromos and some Prisma wax pencils and then I also moved on from that to some gel pen just a little bit of everything going on in this painting and I'm gonna call it a painting because I end up uh, in the end I finally I was testing different mediums like I said I've never done a monochromatic I wanted a particular blue for the willow plate inspiration and I had to really work on this to find the blue that I was looking for and the look. 
and I think in my future videos I'm going to go ahead and continue to combine uh, some of the India ink for a watercolor base. I want to do some pencils. I still want to do those steps. I think I want to keep all those different mediums, but my favorite in the end has become between my blue uh, metallic gel, gel pen and blue acrylic paint. Of course, using the Signo, uh, Uniball Signo pen uh, for my highlights. But I really enjoyed figuring out which medium uh, I was going to use, whether it was going to be watercolor, whether it was going to be the India inks, the gel pen, the pencils, and it turns out that I like them all, but I think my most successful uh, part of this painting uh, it, as far as the blue tones that I'm looking for definitely ended up in my uh, acrylics and it's the essentials that I'm using by I believe the oh I can't remember the name I didn't bring the box with me but they're the essentials and uh, I think it was the the Michaels brand uh, for uh, oh let me think about it I'll, I'll get back to you it's the master's touch that's what it is it's the master's touch uh, acrylic essentials um, so I I'm pretty sure that's the one I'm using I didn't look at the box but it finally came into my brain I could be wrong but I think it's the essentials uh, by Master's Touch. So, if not, I will, you know, put it in the description below uh, what products I used, and um, that way it'll make it a little easier if I can remember to put those in the link before I upload the video. But if not, you can always ask me to remind me <laughs> if I didn't do it. Um, I've worked on this painting for two nights now. And now I am in a hotel. Uh, I'm still in my truck at this point, but uh, I will be in my uh, I will be in my uh, hotel room by the end of this painting.